What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing a P.O. Box pickup video and a San Jose Super Toy Show haul in one. Yeah, so uh, had a great time at San Jose Super Toy Show. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, last one of the year. Um, I got to meet Rick Dominguez for the first time. That was awesome. I saw JC Cortez, saw Tiny over there, saw Mr. Phil's over there, got to see Nika Walkie. Unfortunately, Joey Walkie wasn't going to make it. I saw Star Sapphire there, or Starly Quinn. Um, saw um, uh, Mr. Joe Capone, of course, mentioned him in the video. And then um, let me see, Chu. Got to hang out with Chu quite a bit. So, um, and, uh, and then. Am I forgetting anybody? Uh, I don't think so. And of course the lovely Charlita won, you know, forever at my side. So, it was a great time. I had fun. It was cold as hell though, man. Am I forgetting anybody? God, I feel like I'm forgetting. If I forgot to mention somebody's name, I just started thinking of listing everybody just off the top of my head. So please, don't take any offense. But, um, and seeing a bunch of other vendors like, uh, you know, and you know, people that I know going to the, like Juan, Daryl, and Nun, um, you know, those guys are always awesome. Andrew, got to see Andrew briefly. But anyway, it was cool getting recognized. I love it when people say hi to me, man. That was really, really cool. Um, yeah, somebody said hi to me when I was waiting in line, and then I walked in, and a uh, dude was shopping around, and they stopped and stared at me. It's kind of funny. You guys do this thing, and I'm not trying to pick on anybody, but a lot of you guys do this kind of funny thing where it's like you stop and you're like, I mean... It's just, I, like, I'm a regular, I mean, I'm not trying to sound like a douchebag talking about getting recognized in public, but it's kind of a funny experience in the sense that it's always funny seeing a lot of people do the same kind of thing, you know what I mean? And it's just a natural reaction. I've done it too, man. Like, when I saw Fat Mike on the plane, I was like, that's Fat Mike, you know what I mean? I don't think people's eyes get as peeled as that, but, you know, it's like there's kind of a moment where somebody's just staring at you, like, right in your face, like, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's up, and, you know, at first it was kind of weird, but now it's like, especially at the toy show, I know what's going on, and I'm like, how's it going, man, you know, just say something, get things started, because then that lets them know, you know what I mean, so now they know for sure, because it's kind of like a thing where, like, it is... Is that, the, is that Shardimus Prime guy, or is it not? You know what I mean? So, anyway, P.O. Box stuff. Great time at the Toy Show. I'm going to do a cut over to the, the review station, and we're going to look at the stuff I picked up. I actually picked up quite a bit of stuff. And um, first off, I want to talk about this thing I picked up at the P.O. Box. This right here is... Uh, I didn't see this coming. This is from Edgar, um, and I was scared when I saw this. Now, I have already opened it, of course, but... I was kind of like, first off, I, I I wasn't expecting anything. Actually, both of these package packages, I wasn't expecting anything at all. But I was like, what the hell is, like, is there some like, is, is this drugs or something in here, man? Like, for for some reason, I don't know why, but in my weird head, I thought there may have been drugs in an envelope. That's weird, isn't it? So, I pop it open, and I see this. And I'm like, wait, this looks like a joint. I mean, th this looks like drugs or something, man. And I was actually really tempted to throw this thing in the garbage. Like, I didn't want to open it. Like, out, not because, like, hey, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, you know how the theme song goes, okay? But in the mail like that, nah. You know what I'm saying? So even though the gesture would have been greatly appreciated, but I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to open this in public and just see what happens. I don't know. And I also thought it could have been... I, I thought it was something really, really fishy. I, I, I thought it could have been poison or something. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm crazy, man. I don't know. It's just what was going on through my head. Because it was just seemed so weird and I didn't get a notification about it. So, I open, up, I open it up and it has a letter, thankfully. And it has this great letter that says, Hello, Shardimus Prime, your preferred pseudonym on the website YouTube.com, I presume? I've very recently seen your video review of the NECA Pacific Rim 7-inch Battle Damage Gypsy Danger figure, and in the video you showed that you broke one of the swords included with the figure. I would like to send you another sword, as I have three of these figures. Enjoy! On a side note, when you review the Crimson Typhoon figure, you cautioned that the front right arm shoulder only articulates forward and back. When I reviewed or when I received my Crimson Typhoon, 
To my surprise, the front right arm had the same shoulder articulation as the other arms. Given that I had ordered mine in early September, in my opinion, I think NECA addressed the issue of the front right arm's articulation and made that change in later production of the figure. Just my thoughts. Thank you. Eddie. Right on, man. Very well spoken or well written person over here. Oh wait, and he's got another uh, note right here. P.S. Apologies if the sword somehow breaks during transit. So, I, I basically, I had opened it already and then rewrapped it pretty much to how he had done it. Actually, I had started... I don't know why, but I started opening this before reading the letter. I don't think I actually noticed the letter in there. Just because it's a thin piece of paper and it was like stuck on the inside. I mean, you know, I don't know. I'm tired. I get off of work. I make mistakes and stuff like that. It happens, you know. Especially editing mistakes. Editing mistakes happen when I'm very, very tired, if you notice in the neck of Batman thing. So here's this. And then I'm like, what? This, you know, you know. So anyway, um, it's the Gypsy Danger Sword. You know, I, I'm a crazy buffoon. So, very, whoa, and it just fell out right there. And it came in perfect condition, man. Thank you so much, Eddie. Right on. You rock. And now I have my Gypsy Danger over here with the one sword. And now he may have two. Actually, this one, because both of mine came a little bent. So, this one's actually straighter than, uh, than, than, than even the one that did not break. So, I'm going to plug this in right here. Hold it from the bottom very closely so I don't bend this one as well. There we go. Nice. All right. Now I have my Gypsy Danger with two swords. Sweet. Da -da -da -na -na -na. All right. Cool. Thank you so much, bro. And really, really appreciate it. And I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. Sometimes you learn stuff about yourself. Now, what the hell is this? This is from Pixel Dan. What the hell? I had no idea I was getting anything from Pixel Dan in the mail. He sent me no message or email or anything. So, thank you, Pixel Dan. I got a package from Pixel Dan. Um, I don't know if we had talked about him sending me something in the mail either. I'm trying to think, like, maybe at PowerCon or something, we had talked about him sending me something. But I can't remember off the top of my head. I actually was trying to really think, like... Did we talk about him sending me something? So I'm totally surprised. I have no idea what is in this package right here. So even before I open it, thank you, Pixel Dan. Let's see what this is. All right, and oh my goodness, it's it's a little, it's a Christmas gift right here. Wow. Ooh, feels like feels like clothes, but I don't. And it's like I feel like a little it sounds like kid. Feels like clothes, but I'm assuming a t-shirt right here. Oh, this is really cool. Two Shardimus from Pixel Dan. Oh, that's really nice. Damn. Damn, Pixel Dan. That's very... I, I really appreciate that, bro. I, it Regardless, it, it means a lot, but especially knowing how busy you are right now in your life and everything, with all the great stuff that's going on, to take the time to do this, and you're reviewing all the time still too, so it's like, damn man, thank you, damn. So, I'm going to open this up right here on camera, so we can see it. So I'm opening it up a little early, but he sent it to me a bit early. Oh, mini, oh, what? Nice. And he loves his blind bag stuff. Oh, sweet. Garbage pail, these are Minikin's garbage pail kids. That's cool. Oh, that is tight, man. Wait, let me see if there's a letter in it. And then it's got a t-shirt, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, right on. <laughs> He's inducted me in. <laughs> it's comparison time. All right. That is dope, man. Oh. You know what? I think I do have some extra Shardimus Prime t-shirts. I think I... Oh, but they're all kind of smaller. I, I don't know. I'm going to send him one, though. Shoot, I should have thought of that earlier. I'm such an asshole. Damn. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is really, really cool, man. It says, Comparison Time, Pixel-Dan.com. Pixel hey, check it out. Check out his website. I'm going to put his website in the description. Go to Pixel-Dan.com. And he has these uh, t-shirts available on his website. I think he still has them available there. Find out for yourself and click the link in the description below. I know these come in a bunch of different colors and stuff, too. Right on, Dan. Thanks so much, bro. That is cool as hell of you. Damn, thank you. That is really badass. I don't want to open these guys up right here, these, oh, these min minikins. I have never heard of this before, so it's just one figure in here. 
Nice. Let's see what this is. What? <laughs> oh no, wait. So there's more than one thing in here. There's two. Oh. On the packaging it says uh, two figures. You know, I don't read stuff, I just open things. Even if I think it's potentially dangerous or illegal. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Wow, these things are just like... Wow, that is cool. I don't know the names of these little guys, but these things are cool. Yeah, they actually have a lot of detail on these little guys. Look, uh, you can't tell. It looks like a gummy. See all the bumps in there. Thank you so much, Pixel Dan. These are cool, buddy. Thank you so much, bro. All right, let's go to the review station and check these out and the figures I got from the San Jose Super Toy Show. So here's everything I got at the San Jose Toy Show. You guys already saw my Hot Toys Amazing Spider-Man figure review. Haven't heard back from Hot Toys at all yet. Again, thank you, Lily Shirley to one. And thank you, Toy News. I got this one-fourth scale Batman figure. So cool. 1966 Adam West Batman. Then a bunch of other stuff I don't know if I'm going to be reviewing or not. I don't know, but I have been wanting to get this figure right here for a long time. I regret passing on him a long time ago. The DC Superhero Scarecrow figure, which is like the only real DC Universe Classics Scarecrow figure we can get, even though it's a DC Superheroes figure, pre-DC UC. Then thanks, Mr. Phils. I got the Robocop right here, the 6-inch Robocop. Very stoked about this one. He has no mouth, though. It's weird. So actually, I will be reviewing this guy very soon. And then for a long time, I've been wanting to get this Marvel Universe Nova figure. Finally picked this figure up. Been wanting to get it for a long time. And then thanks again, Mr. Phils. I was able to get the Spider Bites. I'll be reviewing Spider Bites, so I lied about not reviewing stuff. And then right here, I have the Transformers um, Generations uh, Hotspot. Been wanting to get this one for a while. I saw it in the store only once, and then didn't have money to get it, and then picked it up. I got him for 20 bucks, and then I also got Grapple over here, Reveal the Shield Grapple, which I'm really excited about because that figure I thought I'd never get a hold of. I know he shot up in price, so I'm really happy to have him. And then uh, at Target, I picked up uh, the TMNT Ultimate Showdown, like the last uh, few episodes of Season 1. I'm actually not caught up on this show. I've actually seen some of these episodes, just not every single one. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get this. Uh, you know, I did a price match with Amazon, got a good deal on it, so I'm happy about that. And then I got this really cool shirt right over here that, that uh, Charlita One actually spotted while we are at the toy show. This is too funny. Look at that. So it's got the Muni bus right there on Optimus Prime. That's really, really cool. This is a really cool company. They also have a Breaking Bad, but it has San Francisco written in it with a Breaking Bad text. So they're called Love Projects. Love Projects? Yeah. So check them out. And uh, loveprojects.org is their website. Very, very cool design. I really like that a lot. That is awesome. So yeah, that's the stuff I got. Um, what would you like to see me review, huh? Let me know in the comments. And uh, big thanks again, uh, Pixel Dan and Eddie. That's really, really cool of you. All right, you guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.